Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a new 2018 RPOD 176T. I'm going to take a few minutes and walk you around the outside and inside of this coach. On the front of this particular camper it has the optional power tongue jack. It has a manual override and a light built in. It is a 2 inch hitch ball. It has safety chains, 7 way Bargman light plug hookup. The camper does have brakes, so it is important to have a brake control. There is also a breakaway switch down here. There's room for two batteries to be installed on the front of this camper. Has a hitch light here on the front. Has a 20 pound single gas bottle with a hard cover. Some customers in the past have chosen to upgrade to a dual tank system. That is aftermarket done by the dealership not by the factory if you choose to do something like that. The R-Pod has a one-piece fiberglass front roof and back section there that uh, starts from the lower diamond plate here and rolls all the way to the back and this particular model has a hatch on the back for the uh, back bed that comes out which I'll show you when we get around there. Down below here you have a propane hookup for like a portable grill. The unit has four scissor jacks. You can use a socket and a power cord drill and kind of run them up and down quicker if you want to. There's a tube right there for a dump hose to go in. Fiberglass sidewalls. The 176T has the option for the Thull Awning or R Dome. You can do one or the other, but you can't do both uh, when you order the deal from the dealership. This one was ordered with the R Dome screen room, so this is the track that it slides in. Has a screen door, has the window in it, large folding entry handle. Larger 15 inch tires where earlier versions did not have the larger tires, they were just 14s. Porch light, two outdoor speakers. You have your electric outlet and black tank flush here. There is also a LED running light here on the fender. Pretty good sized storage compartment here. This model has the bed that comes out the back. It's a hybrid style. There's a screen on each side that unzips if you need to. Now the screen doesn't, but the hard uh, canvas does. So it gives you a screen. And then there's a screen on the back also. The lid still kind of acts as a cover when it's opened. Makes it kind of nice for the rainy time or whatever. That hard shell cover does kind of protect it a little better. On the 176T, they put the spare tire on the bottom of the bed. So this actually flips up inside the camper, leaving your inch and a quarter bike rack hitch back there if you wanted to do a bike rack on there. You have LED taillights. Also, LED running lights in the top above the hatch there. The other side of the storage compartment. Here you have magnetic door holders. Six gallon gas and electric water heater. The electric switch is in the lower left hand corner there. You've got your heating element, your drain plug, your pressure relief valve also, along with two uh, reset buttons there, one for electric, one for gas. City water and fresh water Phillips here, furnace exhaust. There is a dump here for the gray water, and then there's a secondary dump up there for the black water. This unit has a slide out on it. It is electric. You can manually bring it in if the electric ever fails. Outside utility shower with hot and cold water. Access panels for refrigerator maintenance and venting. 
Detachable power cord hooks up here. They do come with a power cord also. Cable and satellite hookups down there. On the lower corner of the camper, you have your production date sticker, tire pressure, axle sizes, gross vehicle weight, all that stuff on these stickers here. Up top, you can see the TV antenna, also the 13.5 BTU optional air conditioner up there. Looking into the camper here, you have the electric box with your breakers and fuses, some shelving here, optional 24 inch TV that is on a swing arm so you can swing it around. Radio up top, porch light switch, water heater switch, water heater on gas switch, water pump, modern panel for the battery and your fresh and gray and black tank there. Got two wide bunks. This came out about the end of the 2017 and a half versions. The earlier versions were a narrower bunk, so if you've seen the early version, this bunk area has gotten bigger. Electric outlet down there. Fire extinguisher by the door here. Gas and electric refrigerator, also 12-volt refrigerator. That's important. Some of the knockoff R-Pod brands out there that they're starting to come out with are just gas and electric. They don't have the 12-volt uh, cooling source as well. Optional convection microwave. If you don't do the microwave it's just storage there. The stove is also recessed down with a glass cover. A lot of brands are doing an old style stove that sticks up a couple inches and there's no cover over it so you lose some counter space if you're not cooking. In here you have the sink which is stainless, flush mount sink cover, this is under mount sink. A lot of brands are doing an above mount plastic sink. LED lights, electric outlet up there, some room behind the stove for your coffee pot or toaster. Nice big handles here, shock on the door. Euro style hinges, they're hidden hinges when the doors are closed. It gives it a nice clean look. Full extending ball bearing drawer guides. Has the little holder here for travel. Couple drawers here. Nice big hanging closet here. There you can see the air conditioner. Thermostat, which is digital for the air or furnace. Light switch for the bathroom. Propane leak detector down there. It's got a nice U-shaped dinette. This back bed actually flips, the mattress flips up and out of the way. And then there's a U-shaped dinette here. You can see the table, I kind of put it up out of the way there. Uh, this will go down and make into a bed. Got your furnace down here. Electric outlet, which is the GFI breaker there. There you can kind of see how they zip up. Emergency exit window. The 176T has the wet bath. 
So you've got your toilet and shower all in one. You have a sink with hot and cold water. Also has the ABS surround. A lot of brands don't have this. They just have their wall board and you have to wipe it down so it doesn't get damaged all the time. Turbo exhaust fan up there. LED light inside. There's a little holder thing here for like shampoos and stuff like that. Got a little curtain. So a little cubby down there below the refrigerator. And then you also have some storage here by the kids bunk area. Has indoor and outdoor speakers. Again, this has been a video on the 176T. Be sure to check out more of our videos. If you have any questions on the videos, be sure to check with Couches RV Nation. They're one of the largest RV wholesalers in the country. They have great discounts on their campers, and they allow me to video these for you guys. So if you need anything, be sure to get a hold of Couches RV Nation. Thank you.